Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper along with Tony Hager. This is Global Wrestling News. We start this week's show in Colorado Springs. That's where Joe Russell has taken a brand new position as the manager of freestyle programs at USA Wrestling. Over seven years at George Mason, Russell led the Patriots to 41 dual meet victories and coached six athletes to eight bursts at the NCAA championships. He got his start in coaching as an assistant at the University of Minnesota, where he helped guide the Gophers to three NCAA crowns and six Big Ten championships. Championships. Russell will work under U.S. national coach Bill Zadick to frame the future of American freestyle. Okay, Coach Bill Zadick, uh, we have a new addition uh, to our freestyle uh, team. Uh, Joe Russell coming on board from George Mason. He will be our freestyle programs manager. Um, so talk about Joe a little bit and, and what excites you about bringing him on board. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, get some help in the door, but to announce uh, Joe Russell and, and welcome he and, and his wife Sadie and their son Taft to the USA Wrestling family. Um, Joe comes with uh, uh, quite a depth of experience, uh, you know, having been at Minnesota and uh, come through that program and, and helped Jay build a, a powerhouse there and then as a head coach at George Mason. Um, and, and as much as his wrestling experience, Joe has a, a unique uh, personality, character, and integrity that. Um, He's just going to be a tremendous asset to to our wrestling program, to the men's freestyle program, um, as an assistant coach and, and programs manager. Um, you know, Joe may be one of the most intelligent people in in all of wrestling. Um, also has a law degree, and and so just the 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 breadth of experience that he brings across the board, um, and, and the intangibles, um, as well as his wrestling knowledge. I you know. Uh, my relationship with Joe goes back to when we were kids, and I used to train out in Oregon and, and knew of him there. And, uh, and his his brother Dan, of course, was an exceptional wrestler. And so his experience throughout the years, I think, is is just going to bring a lot and add a lot to uh, our men's freestyle program. So um, I'm really excited, really excited to have some help. And uh, uh, as we're on the on the the verge of our world team trials and naming our team and, and starting that world championship cycle. It's, it's uh, an exciting time and, and, uh, I'm really happy. Yeah. And he has experience folk style, freestyle Greco, you know, all across the board. He's well-rounded. I mean, is that something you were looking for? Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I think there's a lot of skills. Um, it, people that know me know that I'm, I'm a wrestling guy and that wrestling is wrestling. And so I think there's, uh, technical, tactical skills that come from all of our styles that lend themselves uh, to our success internationally. And so, you know, Joe was a phenom in high school and, you know, making the national team and, and wrestling in the, in the senior level um, on the Greco side then. And, uh, you know, helping to build a program at Minnesota when, you know, Jay was just forming that um, program and, and the experience there and, and having many you know, team national champions, individual national champions, putting guys on world teams and Olympic teams. Um, it, it just, there's a lot to it. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited. And, uh, you know, like I said, it, on top of all that, he's, he's a man with incredible character and integrity that um, is going to be a tremendous asset to um, our national team athletes, to me and the rest of our coaching staff as a team uh, that are serving our athletes into USA Wrestling. So, um, yeah, you know, not enough can really be said about Joe's experience and, and skills that he's going to bring bring on board. All right, what makes Joe Russell the right fit for this job? You know, everyone talks about the trickle-down effect that Dan Gable has. Right. Jay Rob is starting his own. Obviously, coming from, from Gable, but he really is, is starting his own and, and making, I want to say, not biggest wave as Gable, but he, he's doing a pretty good job. And Russell is that guy. He's a product of Jay Rob. He has that experience. Um, he has got experience at the youth level, too. So what freestyle and Greco needs, I mean, I know he's not part of the Greco program, but hopefully they kind of feed off each <laughs> other. We really have to start a growing Greco and freestyle at, at a younger, younger 
younger age. And that's one of the reasons we've been focusing on so many Greco guys that are also wrestling freestyle. I'm liking what I'm seeing, and I think Russell's arrival at USA Wrestling will help signify and help solidify that idea. All right, now we're going to talk about who's going to take over at George Mason. If you feel like starting a rumor today, go ahead and give me a, a name. Well, I've I've heard uh, Mark Cody's name thrown around. Uh, Drew Periano, I know that he was wanting that Iowa State job. Uh, obviously, those two didn't uh, get the job. So those two names would be, you know, off the top of my head, I guess, those would be maybe leading candidates. I mean, it's not like a slam dunk job, I guess, like Iowa State would be with the history and everything, but it's still a program that Russell is leaving in good hands. All right, we got a break. Up next, we'll flip it over to Greco star Pat Smith. You're watching GWN, brought to you by Nike Wrestling. This month's special at Casey's General Stores is any large made-from-scratch two-topping pizza for only $12. For easy, quick service, order online or use our mobile app right now. Casey's, famous for pizza. I'm Don Beneveni, Beneveni Chevrolet and Granger. We recently made the switch to uh, LED lighting. Uh, we purchased it from uh, Yellow Blue. Uh, we've had a very good experience. The lighting has saved us approximately $1,000 a month. I made the switch to yellow blue LED lighting, and you should too. After repeatedly flirting with a spot on the Greco national team over the last several years, Minnesota Gopher alum Pat Smith broke through last month in Las Vegas, winning the 71 kilo title, earning him a spot on that Greco world squad. Unlike last year, Smith was in control throughout, picking up a 4-1 victory over Christopher Gonzalez in the first bout before coming back with a 6-0 win to seal his spot on Team USA. Joining us live is Pat Smith. Pat, how are you? Doing great. Thanks, Scott. I'm ready to talk Greco, dude. It's been several years. You've been constantly flirting with the spot on the Greco national team. How excited are you? Oh, I'm really excited. Um, like I've said a couple times, it's it was a pretty vindicating experience. You know, I've been towing the line, like you said, for a long time, and uh, it just it feels good to finally break through and get my opportunity to represent the U.S. in the in the World Championships. It's been a goal of mine since I was a little kid, and um, uh, I'm really excited for the opportunity to to compete on that stage. Can you talk about the, the team aspect of, of the storm being there for you? Yeah, we've got just an amazing group of guys here training and, and we've all been together for a while. Um, even the guys that aren't from Minnesota, they, they've kind of come in and, and turned into Minnesota guys. We're giving Joe a lot of, a lot of crap lately. It's like, he's uh he's one of us now. Uh, he's a Minnesota guy. I know the Illinois guys probably won't like that too much, but he is. And, uh, we just we have a great training environment, and I think that that's that's the, the 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 biggest thing that we have going for us, honestly. Um, and that's that's the reason I want to be in Minnesota. I, I love the training environment. I love the people that I train with: Alec Ortiz, uh, Brad Dozel, Joe Rao, Hayden Zilmer, Barrett Stanghill, Justin Laval. Um, they're all great guys, and we're all pushing each other to get better every day. And then uh, I think we got couple of the best coaches in the country with, with Brandon Paulson and Dan Chandler, um, who have, you know, I've been working with since I was a little kid. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome to be able to come through and, and, uh, share this experience with everybody coming up. And, uh, so yeah. It's interesting to see how you progressed into Greco because realistically you started out in freestyle and folk style and, um, cause wasn't it freestyle first? Yeah, yeah. So we didn't have a, we didn't have a folk style club in Chaska when I was a little kid. I didn't start wrestling folk style until we actually moved. We moved to Little Falls for a couple of years. It's a town in central Minnesota, and then moved back. Um, but uh, yeah, so we didn't we didn't have a little kids folk style club. We just wrestled freestyle. So yeah, and I, I think the first Greco tournament I did, my my brother came home because he took me to all my tournaments and stuff most of the time. 
and coached me all the way up through when I was younger. Younger, And uh, he came home one day, hey, you want to wrestle Greco? I was like, what's Greco? And he's like, yeah, come on, we're, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, that may have been in fourth grade, but, you know, I didn't really start getting into Greco um, until uh, later in high school and I started working with, uh, with Mike Houck um, and uh, developing that relationship with him and, and, um, and then after working with him, I started to see a little bit more success, started to understand the sport a little bit, um, and the, you know, the purity, uh, the one-on-one combat of it and, uh, just kind of, uh, grew from there, I guess. Um, let me ask you this. What, what do you guys do as far as training, uh, diet, film, what do you do to prepare for Paris? Um, so right now, Momir and uh, Matt are putting together a pretty pretty strong uh, training program for us, and pretty confident in what we got going on. But so we just actually came back from a camp. Uh, we went out to Matt's hometown, uh, Eagle Creek, Oregon, um, and we basically just trained in the woods for two weeks, kind of Rocky style. Uh, he's got uh, a friend who owns a car dealership in Gresham, Weston, Kia, um, and he kind of put us up for the week along with. Uh, uh, a couple other people and you know we worked out three times a day running lifting and uh circuit training um and then uh, on the side we we got to do some fun stuff too which was really cool but uh um so we were out there uh for the last two weeks just got back now we're kind of uh just getting ready for Tbilisi Grand Prix in Georgia which will be on June 11th I leave on the 6th for that um and that'll be a good tournament uh, kind of a good time to get some matches in before Worlds, uh, see that international competition. And then once we get back from that, or uh, once that's over, we're going to go straight to Budapest and train with the Hungarian national team for two weeks. And then uh, we'll be back uh, the month of July um, training in Colorado. Um, and that'll be our main world team camp. And then we're button right up. And August 11th, we head out and acclimate and get ready to go. So. We look forward to talking to you again very soon. We appreciate you taking the time of the day. Best to your family. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. All right, quick timeout. Next up, the Paulson brothers are back together again. Trent joins us live to talk about his move to Virginia. You're watching GWN. Thanks to Pure and Clean Sports. This month's special at Casey's General Stores is any large made-from-scratch two-topping pizza for only $12. For easy, quick service, order online or use our mobile app right now. Casey's, famous for pizza. Wow, 40 years. Time really flies. Don't seem like it's been that long. It seemed like only yesterday that I started out route delivering it to the stores. For over 40 years, we're really proud to keep the same quality ingredients and not change our recipe. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary by joining into our cookies recipe contest with a chance to win a Traeger Bronson 20 smoker. You can enter it on our Facebook page or cookiesbbq.com. Thanks for 40 years, and we'll see you in another 40 years. Cookies is the one. What's up guys, I want to tell you about a new product that I am extremely excited about. It is the Pure and Clean Sports Skin Defense. It comes in a 16 ounce spray bottle and it comes in a little bitty travel size spray bottles. I have one of these, throw it in my bag, go straight to the gym. A lot of these gyms I train at, whether it be boxing, wrestling, kickboxing, grappling, strength and conditioning, it all has bacteria floating around, they all have viruses floating around, they all have fungus floating around, and the last thing you want is to get a fungus, a virus, get sick, any kind of um, any kind of wounds that are going to turn into any kind of uh, skin infections to take you off of the mat. Every single second that you spend off the mat or out of the gym is one second that you're wasting. So, Pure and Clean Sports came up with a amazing solution to give you the right amount of protection on your skin. You spray it right on your skin. Stay pure. Stay clean. Checking them out. PureandCleanSports.com.
All right, welcome back. In addition to Travis Paulson taking a position with the University of Virginia, former Iowa State assistant coach Trent Paulson will be joining his brother in Charlottesville. The move comes after former Virginia assistant coach Jordan Lean left to take a job at the Pittsburgh program. Trent heads into Virginia after serving the two previous season as the paid assistant coach for Iowa State. Now, in addition to his duties with the Cyclones, Trent was also the Cyclone Wrestling Club's head coach, where he trained, among others, recent Cyclone standouts like Kyvan Gadsden and Mike Marino here to talk about that move. Trent Paulson, welcome to GWN. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Good. I'm much better having received the message from you uh, some 14 hours ago, 15 hours perhaps, that Steve Garland had extended an offer to you to join your brother on staff at the University of Virginia, and uh, you have accepted it. Uh, First of all, congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, I'm excited. It's crazy how it all worked out. It is crazy. Let's start with the U.S. Open. The conversation started there. How did it go? It went that Jordan Lean decided to follow Keith Gavin at Pitt, and I actually have another opening, and I'd love to have both you and Travis as my assistants. So. Having the two of you to, together is that one-two punch. Uh, you guys know how to recruit. You know how to train. Uh, this brings a Big 12 attitude to the ACC. I think that's rather important. Not too many people are talking about that aspect of it, but you and your brother, well-trained under guys like Bobby Douglas, Chris Bono, and Cale Sanderson, talk to uh, our viewers about what you and your brother, that one-two punch, TP1 and TP2, bring to that UVA room. Um, I think Travis and I have our own strengths, and us combined, it's like the perfect combination. He's, he's really organized and um, does a good do- job creating training plans, and he's kind of Johnny on the spot that way. I'm a little bit more social and pride myself on being a good recruiter and building relationships with alumni. So I think if they utilize us and, and our strengths, it, it can be a, a pretty big win-win. UVA right now is the best it's ever been, even prior to your arrival. I would imagine this is adding fuel to the fire for Coach Steve Garland. Let's talk about why Steve Garland. He's an important fixture in the uh, in the ACC, has been for a while now, and he's bringing in a top 10 uh, nationally recruited, excuse me, a top 10 ranked recruiting class. Can you talk about that? Yeah, anybody in the wrestling community, you won't say, you won't hear anyone say anything negative about Steve Garland. He's just a great guy, a man of character. Um, I kind of first got turned on to the recruiting classes when I was at the PA State Tournament two years ago with Keith Gavin. He was telling me as a sophomore, they already locked down Cameron Coy, who was at the time ranked in the top three at 152. And they had a ton of PA uh, studs that were kind of a pipeline to their program. And he said great things about Garland. And then fast forward to the NCAA championships this year, we went to the champions breakfast and coach Garland shared his story. And at the time he had no openings, but Travis and I kind of looked at each other and just thought that would be a great guy to work for. And uh, he's been through a lot and he's a strong uh, man of faith and he just wants to win the right way. And that'd be something cool to be a part of. And then, and, and, and we want to talk about that because he is a family guy. You and your brother have become great dads, uh, great husbands, uh, and that is a good fit in my book. Yeah, for sure. And, and I, a lot of people don't know this, but Coach Garland has a twin brother as well, so he kind of knows about the bond and how you can feed off each other. They were competitive growing up, and then they kind of went their separate paths, but he gets it. It must be difficult being a uh, a twin at least from the outside looking in, because you guys literally have been together a good majority of your life, not too far apart wherever you went, uh, but always together in heart, mind, and soul. Is that true? Yeah, it's pretty true. It's cra- it's crazy when uh, Coach Garland mentioned the opportunity at the U.S. Open. I shared it with uh, my mom and my sisters and my family, and instantly when I told them, they just started like crying in joy, saying that, they, that I didn't understand how hard that they had been praying for this, because... It was breaking their heart, not just for Travis and I to separate, that's life, but our kids are best friends and they play together every day. And and just to see them have to separate, it was just, it was causing my family a lot of anxiety, but it's, it's cool that I think God had a plan and everything worked out. Congratulations to you and your family and uh, congratulations to Virginia. Thanks a lot, Scott. Thanks for having me on. Were you surprised it took so long for them to get this deal done? Oh, well, he's got the experience on the mat in coaching now. You know, um, I'm not surprised though that it took this this while because Iowa State really kind of he just dug himself in a hole, and you know I think coaches were maybe scared 
to hire him? You know, how how much was it? Was it KJ's fault? Was it the Paulson's fault? Was it administration? You know, outside looking in, you don't really know those stories. So how do you go and hire somebody that came from a program that just really got fired? So I, I'm not surprised it took him for a, a while. But when you get down, you, you get to sit down with the Paulson boys. You know how big of an effect they had on recruiting. So you got to land Trent Paulson if you got Travis with you. All right, quick timeout. Quick hits is up next. You're watching GWN. Thanks to Yellow Blue LED. generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. The warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defend so, defend what you have built. Finally, the IMR2 Iowa rumors have been put to rest. Martinez was a guest on the Inside Trip podcast and denied the speculation, saying, To me, loyalty is the big deal. He later stated, I would never transfer from Illinois. The Hawks still have plenty of ammo at 165 without him. An NCAA qualifier there, Joey Gunther and redshirt freshman Alex Marinelli. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm really surprised, to be honest, though. I mean, IMR coming to Iowa made all the sense in the world, I guess, to outsiders in, but, you know, I've said this before, though. It's not about winning all the time. You know, he probably has really good relationships there on campus. Leaving that one more year, your senior year, has got to be tough to do. Well, actually, he's graduating, but uh, for his his last season competing, it's right. really tough to do. So, all right, Iowa's still going to be fine, though, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the plan all along for Iowa has been to to make Alex Marinelli the guy. He's already star, and he's only a redshirt freshman, right. so I think people are excited for him to be on the map, but. He did a lot of growing this year. He's got a lot more to grow in order to be a national champ. All American status, I think, is there, but in order to be on the top, he does. You know, this is a tough weight class for him. So 57 really is where he needs to be, but um, not not at all. It's going to be interesting where he where he fits in. So in order to be a national champion, he does have I think another year under his belt. All right, I still wouldn't be surprised if he ends up at the Hawkeye Wrestling Club eventually. Yeah, you know, this that's <laughs> definitely probably going to happen. I would be shocked if that doesn't happen. I mean, I think we're going to get Delgado there. Um, I would assume that Imar's coming, so uh, Perry's got a plan, and I, I think Imar's in that plan. All right, news out of Minnesota now. The university there has added Division Three All-American Owen Webster. Webster competes for Augsburg this last year, placing third in the nation at 184. In the Olympic styles, he was a Greco-Roman national champ and a freestyle runner-up in 2014. They have Chris Farr at 84, but something tells me there's going to be a place opening up for this young man. Well, one thing that's kind of getting overlooked is he was a good world bronze medalist as well. So he's doing good in the country, but also uh, on the on the world scene too. That's what we need, obviously, for our future stars. But um, Minnesota's got Bobby Stevenson that's been right. at 84. He's going to bump up at 97 more than likely. You know, far, I, I think that he will contend for the spot, but I think Ultimately, Webster will earn the spot at 84. After originally committing to Ohio State, Illinois State champ Isaiah White ended up at Notre Dame College. That's where he won a D2 title as a freshman. He'll now transfer to Division I Power, Nebraska. White was the 10th ranked recruit in the class of 2016 and the number one ranked wrestler at 152. He'll likely take over as a Husker starter at 165. This is a huge transfer <laughs> yeah. for a team like Nebraska. I mean, other teams that... 
I think he, you know, White was on their radar, but they didn't really want to pull the trigger. You know, there's some, el- you know, not as many eligibility years left as if they went maybe put some more money into, you know, a recruit. So I think Nebraska, though, is a team that has a lot of stars. I've said this before, but they haven't been able to put a team together. A big time transfer in like this definitely changes the game. And, and Manny's got it going on. All right. So, I mean, look at this lineup Lambert, Red, McChrystal, Berger, Puritan. Alex Thompson, Nebraska has some serious depth at the lower weights. Yeah, I've, I've got, got to hand it to Manny. I mean, I've been pretty critical on him. I've not been able to put a team together that can compete in the Big Ten. And uh, right now they're loaded at these lower weights. It's just kind of odd, though, right? So, like, you got Jordan Burroughs and James Green, middle weight, upper weight. you think they'd be stockpiling people there, too. So I think, um, I think Manny's doing a good job of getting those lower weights, James Green, Burroughs. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, focus more time on coaching, too. I think, I, I don't know, I don't know who has the impact on who the recruit's coming in. But you think that they would be getting those middle weights and the upper weights. All right, we're out of time, Tony. But before we go, I want to thank our friend Todd Beckerman. That's Coach Todd Beckerman of Brown. Cool shirt. Appreciate your thoughts. And, again, we are out of time. Make sure to tune in next week for a full preview of the World Team Trials and a lot more from all of us in Des Moines, Iowa. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for Global Wrestling News.